Today, guys, I just wanted to talk about kill streaks. What are they used for? What do they do? Are they good? Are they bad? What situations would you use them in? Should you pick them or not? Let's get right into it, okay? So the very first one is the UAV. For those that don't know, this summons a flying plane over the battlefield, which will periodically scan for enemies and show them on your minimap as red dots. If you're wondering what the red dots mean, if it has a little triangle above the dot, it means that they're above you. And if they have a triangle below you, it means they're below you. It's pretty simple. It uh, scans at least maybe 8 or 10 times before it flies away. The enemy can shoot it down, giving them 100, uh, ex you know, credits, points, uh, <laughs> experience, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's absolutely vital to run this. I think every single person should run this as a kill streak because if you get a chain of these going and the enemy isn't doing anything about them, and in the beta, almost no one ever shot these down. I was like the only one ever shooting these. But if your team has a chain of these going, it just makes it so much easier to know where the enemy is so you don't have to be sprinting around making loud footsteps. You can just camp areas, wait for them to come to you. It makes the game that much easier. This is an absolute must-have. Everyone should be using this at all times. The next one is the Bomb Drone. You cannot use UAV with Bomb Drone. Therefore, because you should always use UAV, you should never use Bomb Drone. But... What the bomb drone does is you just summon a little drone and it's got a C4 on it and you can fly it at an enemy. And I had one of these flown at me before and I fully autoed it with one of the stronger light machine guns in the game. And I was still not able to kill this thing. I even threw Semtex near it and it took residual splash damage from the explosion and this thing still did not die. So if you just want to fly one of these into a group of people and get like two or three kills, you totally can. This does take your character out of, you know, action because you have to be piloting the drone. Therefore, your character is just standing around being idle. So the next up is the counter UAV. This will make a stationary little flying object in the sky, which can be easily machine gunned down, but it completely scrambles the enemy's minimap. Even if you don't have a UAV active or they don't have a UAV active, this thing can be very annoying because it makes it very hard to navigate. However, as the game matures and people learn the maps, this thing will quickly become quite useless because the best counter to a UAV, at least a regular one, is to just shoot it down with a rocket. Alright, which you can, like, if you die and you respawn and there's a UAV in the air, switch your loadout to a rocket, kill the damn thing and you're good to go. The only thing is that this hard counters the advanced UAV, which is a 12 kill streak. If someone has advanced UAV, you can't shoot that thing down, but you can cast count- cast? I'm an MMORPG YouTuber, by the way. You can summon- uh, you can call in the counter UAV, and uh, that will deal with that. So, Cluster Mine. A lot of people think that this thing is absolutely crazy bonkers, um, that shoots a bunch of mines everywhere in a large radius. It does not. It will only put Cluster Mines in a small little area, and these mines don't even kill in one hit. It takes at least two of these bad boys to kill a player. So that means, uh, also, every single control point in the game past a certain rank gets nade spammed. So let's say you get this kill streak and you put it on a domination capture point, right? Or even hardline capture point. And so what happens is the enemy just throws grenades in the point and blows up all these mines. And the, your five kill streaks are basically wasted. So don't use Cluster Mine, use Counter UAV, they share the same thing. Next up is the Care Package. Now this one is can be really fun or really crappy. So let me explain. The way it works is when you get this, you have to put down a little area where a chopper will deliver a crate, as you can see on screen here. Whenever you get this crate, it is a completely random kill streak. It could be a UAV. It could be a freaking juggernaut, okay? I've never seen one with a juggernaut, but apparently it can happen. I just haven't seen one yet. But most of the time, you just end up getting one of these other kill streaks that are just kind of close by. Or, and sometimes you kind of get unlucky and get the crappier ones. So, uh, this thing also takes, it eats up a lot of your time. You could be running around the map, getting points, capturing points, killing players, but instead, you have to summon this thing in the back lines where no one's gonna be, wait on the damn delivery, wait on it to float to the ground, then you have to wait to channel to use it to absorb the care package into your soul or whatever the heck. So, this thing is just, you're being kind of a... A waste to your team if you use this however it can be very very fun because if you end up pulling a chopper gunner out of the damn thing 
or a juggernaut, oh man, you just turn the tables big time. So this is a huge coin flip, but if you take all of the kill streaks here and try to do the math, then you're going to find that you will almost rarely, if not ever, get what you actually want out of the damn thing. So I, uh, I suggest not using it. I would suggest UAV and counter UAV for these two brackets. Next up is the Precision Airstrike, the Cruise Missile, and the Mortar Strike. So let's talk about these three, okay? The way Precision Airstrike works is you have to have line of sight of your target, and then you have to use a binocular device to look at the target until this thing comes, and it takes it takes a little bit of time for the plane to show up to shoot whatever it is you just targeted. So if you're just targeting people running around the map, they're going to be long gone before this thing shows up. This is a pretty damn useful skill, or rather kill streak. I'm sorry, in invasion and the big ground, big team battle, whatever it's called, the, the one with all the vehicles, because a lot of people will be clumped together in one little area. You summon this bad boy, and it just automatically machine guns everyone down in that area. It's pretty powerful in that regard, but you do need line of sight for it. So if you're like a sniper character, you like to sit on top of buildings, this is a great perk. Otherwise, if you're playing regular like Deathmatch or Dominion or Hardpoint, it's not the greatest. Cruise Missile is, uh, it does eat up some of your time because you have to pull out a device, summon the missile from the sky, and then manually control the missile as it crashes into the ground. It doesn't take that much time compared to uh, some of the other killstreaks, but it does put you out of action for a slight bit. Mortar Strike is just an absolute worse precision airstrike. You should never use Mortar Strike at all. Uh, what it does is it, you have to manually paint a laser in an area. You have to actually have line of sight, just like the precision airstrike. And then you have to wait for the mortar shells to drop. And what happens is it's going to bomb an area, kill everybody. And then when everyone's dead and gone, it's going to continue to bomb that area for a very short amount of time. Uh, and that's basically it. So I would avoid mortar strike. Precision airstrike does the same thing, just faster and better and uh, more reliably, it's uh, it basically just auto-targets and kills everyone, whereas Mortar Strike is just a bunch of explodey AoEs. You may think, well, what if I Mortar Strike a tank? B vehicles are a non-issue in this game. It's not like Battlefield or anything. Sentry Gun, I've seen this only work one time well in the game, and someone put it in the middle of a damn level, and no one w could bother to disable it. But every time I've ever used it, it either ignores everyone because they're running that cold-blooded perk where uh, machines just don't see you, or they hack it with the, the what is it, the spotter perk, or they just nade spam it down. So, <laughs> this thing really sucks. I do not recommend this at all. I've actually never seen it in, in Invasion. It, maybe it could be useful to, like, kill bots in Invasion at some point, but I don't know, man. It's just most most bigger kill streaks in Invasion are from snipers, and I don't see a sniper running to the front lines to drop one of these down anyway. Next up is SAE. This one is decent. It's basically just precision airstrike, but with exploding bombs. It is three cascading area of effects. It's basically three cruise missiles in a line, is exactly what SAE is. It's just, it's automatic too. You, you, uh, you can, well, you doesn't have to be in a line. You can actually target three separate spots on the map and then drop it wherever you want, but usually everyone's going to be, it's going to be in a line, so you want to make sure you hit them as they travel around the map, because if you just put one circle over a red dot, they're going to be gone by the time the bombs actually drop on them. VTOL Jet is a similar, it's kind of similar to, to SAE, but it, it nukes one area, not full nuke. And then it machine guns that area automatically, but this thing, it takes like three to four rockets to take down. It's not the tankiest thing. Overwatch Helo it's a better VTOL jet because it just kills things with machine guns instead of one big explosion. So uh, it also marks people on your mini map, which is really neat. This thing is also pretty flimsy, three to four rockets, and it goes down. Wilson, I have seen one person absolutely pull this bad boy off. This thing kills players insanely fast. It's really tiny. It's mobile. This is a beast of a kill streak right here, and I've seen this in Invasion just absolutely turn the tides and completely just get hundreds of points farming bots farming just tons of players spawning and this is a really nasty nasty kill streak all right it, it, i would highly recommend this is your third kill streak in larger maps or uh in like maybe dom domination or or maybe even deathmatch it's i've everyone that's ever used this has made it very successful 
Stealth Bomber, it's basically just a line of explosives. I don't think it's any better than SAE because you can manually target SAE in three different spots. VTOL Jet, I think, is still better than Stealth Bomber. I see this used a lot, though. It is three large explosions uh, in a line. Chopper Gunner, lots of fun. <laughs> this is probably the most fun perk out of all of, or kill streak out of all of them. Uh, chopper Gunner, you basically control a chopper and you machine gun people down. You get to see the little red dots on the ground. You just left click and they die. It's, uh, it's a whole lot of fun. Uh, only 10 kills now. I think it used to be more in the old games. I can't remember if that's true or not. But uh, this thing does take at least four rockets to take down and a lot of machine gun fire. So uh, it's going to be lasting a little while. Emergency airdrop is three random kill streaks instead of one. And um, yeah, so it's basically you just get three coin flips. I don't recommend emergency airdrop because chopper gunner is too damn fun. Gunship not quite the same as the AC-130 from Modern Warfare, the first Modern Warfare 2, but it is still decent. It is pretty damn good. It's just a better chopper gunner that can take, I think, six rockets? I forget exactly how many. Uh, I do remember killing one with six rockets, though. Um, so there you go. It's uh, You got to cycle through the guns, though. You can't just, don't just use the machine gun. Don't just use the cannon. You got to cycle in between them. Advanced UAV is just UAV that can't be shot down, and it's consistent. Instead of a little wave that goes over your map, it it shows them in real time moving around on the map. So it is uh it can be avoided with cold blooded though, so you can't really trust it. And then Juggernaut, you get you get hyper armor, you get a minigun, uh, you basically get uh you it takes about you have the HP of like eight or ten people. So you can still be killed with nade spam and snipers and headshots and machine gun fire, but if you get this and you die with it, the enemy can pick up the minigun and turn the tides, which they won't have the armor, they'll have the minigun. So it's kind of risky, but it, it's also a lot of fun. It also plays special music when it activates because it is the ultimate kill streak. And there you go. That is all the kill streaks. That's what I think of them. My suggestion or my recommendation is UAV, counter UAV, and precision airstrike because uh, these you're going to get consistently every round once you learn how to play and you're not too high of a rank. Um, but if you rank too high in the matchmaking, you might not ever see Precision Airstrike, but you will definitely get the most out of UAV and Counter UAV for leveling your character up. Once you're max level and have everything unlocked, then maybe you could just pick all the fun ones, like Chopper Gunner and Juggernaut, and if you get them, you get them, if you don't, you don't. Anyway, guys, I'm Soul Benji. thanks for watching, as always, be a bro and stay a swole. I make videos every single day on this channel, so with that said, I also read every single comment, if it, I would really appreciate it if you left a comment, leave a like, and leave a subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's video. You can always unsubscribe later whenever I stop playing this game or play something else. Also, guys, on screen right now is a video that you should absolutely click. So go ahead and click that video. Give it a watch. It's a really good one. I promise you. And I will see you in tomorrow's video. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. Also, there's a Discord link in the description if that interests you. Take care.